This episode is sponsored in part by Skillshare. The other day I was in a coffee shop and the guy in front of me yelled at the barista because his grande caramel frappuccino was a double shot instead of a triple. Being a jerk may feel gratifying in the short term, but I started to wonder, does it actually make us happier? When you think of things that would make you happier, what comes to mind? Is it going on a vacation, spending more time with your friends, or winning the lottery? It may surprise you, but research shows that a major way we can boost our own well-being is by being kind to others. Kindness can increase our life satisfaction, decrease pain, and even affect our bodies at a cellular level. I'm Vanessa, and you're watching BrainCraft, where we explore the psychology in your everyday life. Now, to explore how kindness impacts your mood, researchers at the University of California assigned undergrad students to spend an hour and a half doing kind acts on campus. These acts included giving compliments, paying for parking meters, and carrying items for others. Afterwards, students reported increased optimism and life satisfaction. Their findings suggest that kindness can improve your mood. But if you don't have an extra hour and a half for kindness today, that's all right too. Research shows that people assigned to perform just one act of kindness each day for 10 days reported increased life satisfaction compared to a control group that didn't intentionally perform kind acts. And adults aren't the only ones who benefit from being nice. In another study, children assigned to perform three kind acts per week gained more friends over the course of a month. This all goes to show that just a few kind acts per week can also have benefits. But there's more to kindness than just improving your mood. A lot of research has explored the impact of something called loving-kindness-based meditation, a Buddhist practice where you focus on extending unconditional, unselfish affection and kindness towards all people. Studies suggest that just three sessions of this meditation can improve focus, and just eight sessions were shown to decrease pain in a group of patients with chronic low back pain. Though perhaps most surprisingly, kindness may even affect affect how fast our cells age. One study found that women who practiced a loving-kindness meditation had relatively longer telomeres than non-practitioners. So telomeres are these caps at the end of our chromosomes that get shorter and shorter as we age, and shorter telomeres are associated with earlier mortality. Scientists aren't exactly sure why loving-kindness meditation is associated with longer telomeres, but chronic stress is known to shorten them. They think this this meditation may reduce stress, therefore leading to relatively longer telomeres. So how can you learn to be kind and reap all of these benefits for yourself? One way is to simply set kindness goals. Performing just one act of kindness each day is enough to see measurable benefits. And it doesn't seem to matter who you're kind to. People assigned to perform acts of kindness to either friends or strangers report similar increases in happiness. And acts of kindness can be big or small. Give a stranger a compliment. Call your mum to say hi. Buy a coffee for a co-worker. Donate blood. Or maybe like this video. We don't often think about how being kind to others can have all sorts of benefits for us. But if you want a boost in happiness, even feel less pain, and maybe even age more slowly, stop being a jerk and start being kind. Recently, I've been kind to myself by working smarter with my inbox. It used to be a complete mess, but now I've set up a daily email routine, automated filters, and a folder system, thanks to the email productivity course from Skillshare. Skillshare is the sponsor of today's video. They're an online learning community where you can take thousands of classes in everything from marketing to photography. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month, but for BrainCraft viewers, you can get the first two months free if you sign up using this link or the code in the description. And now, if any of you email me, I might actually reply. Thanks.